Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Smug expression. I wonder if this is going to be a smirk. That's pretty smug, yeah. Let's see if we can build off of that. Cabbage dishes? That should be slaws. Plural, because they're asking for dishes, plural. Rock genre. I guess that could be metal. Highbrow tower material. And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. So with wordplay clues, you have to find a punny answer to the clue. So this clue is not going to literally be about a fancy material you would use to build a real tower. I think what we're going to be dealing with here is a figurative tower. Maybe you've heard academia referred to as an ivory tower before. I think we're dealing with that kind of tower. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, thankfully no one has ever tried to build a real tower out of ivory. Okay, home to the Atlantis Casino. That's looking like it's going to be Reno. There's a lot of casinos in Reno. Be honest with. When there's a word in parentheses at the end of the clue, that just means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and still sound correct. So I think this is going to maybe be level with. Yeah. Thieving condors of Mario games. Thieving condors, ooh. I played plenty of Mario as a kid. What are those called? Thieving. Hmm, I wonder if this is after my time. Make amends, that could be a tone. This is probably going to be our first theme answer here. General's responsibility. Again, we have a question mark here. So in this theme answer, we are going to be dealing with some kind of pun or wordplay. Um, hmm, well, it starts with war. That makes sense because of general. I'm not sure what the rest of it is going to be. Since it's probably going to be part of the theme, there's all kinds of possibilities for wackiness that could be happening in this answer. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to build out of this corner. So let's start fresh up in this section here and try and get the end of this theme answer. Gentle attention getter. I wonder if that could be a tap. Let's see if that's right. Holy blank. Hmm, I'm not sure what this should be. Pi r squared for a circle. Uh, if you do pi r squared, you would get the area, right? Of a circle, I think that's right. Bygone could be past. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. Tide competitor. Okay, that's detergent, right? I think era is another brand of detergent. High or low follower? That could be high res, low res, yeah. Holy blank. Huh. I have no idea what this should be. I wonder if we can get this short one here. Blank Tai Ching. Um, is that Tao? I think that might be a book about Taoism. Yeah. Is this going to be like kleptos? I've never heard of that before. It would make sense though because they're thieving, right? Like a kleptomaniac. Could it be kleptos? Um, war something? War operation? Ooh, that's interesting. Because war and operation are both names of games, right? Operation is that game where you do surgery on a patient, right? And war is a very simple card game. Hmm, I wonder if the theme today is going to be sticking the names of two games together to make a new phrase. War operation. Yeah, let's see if that prediction is correct. Let's build down towards this next theme answer here. Corn units, that should be ears. Oh, this is holy terror. Oh man, that took forever to see. A colon in an analogy? Well, if we're talking about SAT analogies, 
they usually go something is to something as something else is to something else. So those is to's are colons in that format, yeah. So I think it has to be is to. Pick me, pick me. These quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for pick me, pick me. Um, I'm not sure what this should be. I'm good? I don't know about that. That doesn't sound quite right. One named singer who pioneered the Minneapolis sound. The Minneapolis sound? Is that going to be Prince? I know he was based around Minneapolis. That would make sense. Fidelio is Beethoven's only one. Is that his only opera? Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if this is just ooh ooh. <laughs> like something you have with your hands stuck in the air. That would kind of make sense, I think. Tongue but not cheek. Well, a tongue is an organ. I guess your cheek is not an organ. Yeah. That's funny. Blank boson, the so-called god particle. That's the Higgs boson. Yeah, they found that pretty recently at CERN. Okay, let's just make sure we got these short downs correct here. The hundred folds on a chef's toque are said to represent the number of ways to repair this. <laughs> Egg, okay. Scott Joplin tune is a rag, that sounds right. And T or F say, abbreviated. Those could both be answers on a true-false test, right? Answers abbreviated. We're being tested pretty thoroughly over in this section. We have true or false answers and SAT analogies here. All right, let's take a look at the next theme answer here. We have quite a bit of crossing help at this point. It looks like it might begin with sorry. That's another game, right? Apology from Iago. Okay, Iago is a character in Othello, <laughs> and there's also a board game called Othello, right? Yeah, maybe it's going to be Sorry Othello. Yeah, Iago did Othello pretty dirty in that play. He definitely should be apologizing. Okay, nice. I think our hypothesis after the first theme answer was correct. It looks like we have two games smashed together for each theme answer here. Okay, in which headshots can be taken? Um, is this like headshots for an actor? In which? Hmm, that's interesting. Is this like a place in which headshots can be taken? Hmm, I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Pellucid? What in the world? I don't think I've ever seen this word before. Pellucid, yeah, that's a new one. We're gonna need to get some crossing help on that one. Part of a horror film address for short. <laughs> okay, as kind of a horror geek, I definitely know this one. This is going to be Elm Street. That's where Freddy Krueger lives. Okay, National Floral Emblems of the US. Um, I think maybe the rose is the national flower. Is that right? So that would be roses, plural, because they're asking for emblems. Oh, okay, so this is going to be soccer, that kind of headshot. <laughs> we were in totally the wrong realm there, yeah. We were thinking acting, but it was sports, okay. Um, maybe pellucid is gonna be clear, because lucid on its own means you're thinking clearly, right? Yeah, maybe it's just another word that means something close to lucid. Let's try clear here. Is this gonna be emergency medical services? Millennium at the beginning and end. <laughs> no, this is going to be wordplay and it's not gonna be about the years at the beginning and end of a millennium. This is going to be about the word millennium itself. It has an M at either end. So we have M's as our answer. Very, very tricky. It turns red litmus paper blue. I think that's going to be a base. We had the word litmus as an entry a few days ago. Okay, blank choy is bok choy. Yeah, those are some really tasty greens. I love bok choy. Okay, wares could be sports. Let's go back over to the west here. 
I feel like when you get the beginning of longer answers, it's always easier to see what they're supposed to be. Okay, take stock of, that could be assess. Let's see if we can build off of that. Pleasant whiff could be an aroma. Billionaire philanthropist George, that could be George Soros, I think. Defeat soundly, so to speak. Is that gonna be spank? Lure in. Yeah, that could be rope in, right? The in works at the end of rope, okay. This is C, date regularly, that looks good. We want this to be an A, 60 minuti. I think that's 60 minutes in Italian. So this will be ora, hour in Italian. Yeah, when you get a clue that's in a foreign language, that means they want the answer to be in that same language. All right, let's go ahead and put in spank. It's looking like that's actually correct. And let's take a peek at our next theme answer here. Antitrust concern. Well, that definitely seems like it should be about monopoly, right? Yeah, because antitrust laws are used to break up monopolies. So it's gonna start with monopoly. And then is it gonna be risk because it's a concern? <laughs> That's pretty clever, I like that. Okay, gross could be yucky maybe? Not seldom poetically. Okay, so this is going to be poet speak. I guess that'll be oft maybe? And we have a UFO, peculiar light in the sky in brief. Yeah, that's right. University entrance exam for short. I think that's the ACT, right? It's another test you can take around the same time as the SAT. Yeah. It has colloquial gestures like kiss fist and shaking L abbreviated. Um, it sounds like they might be talking about American Sign Language here, yeah. Okay. Click of disapproval, could that be a tisk? Miso soup cubes, that's definitely tofu. I love miso soup. You could probably put some bok choy in miso soup, that would taste pretty good. Okay, trio for Daniel Day-Lewis. Well, he's a really great actor, so I imagine he might have three Oscars. Nice. Bohemian folk dances. Uh, is that gonna be polkas, maybe? Let's see, is this asks of? Requests from, yeah, that sounds right. All right, is this gonna start with clue? This looks like our last theme answer here. Editors of crossword puzzles, e.g. Okay, I think it definitely is gonna be about clue. Half of an editor's job is writing crossword clues, I think. How is it gonna end though? Is it gonna be about writing? Hmm, it's not gonna be Scrabble, right? Let's see if we can get the first letter here. Baltimore seafood specialty, uh-oh, I'm not gonna know that one. Takes up or lets down, say. Is this about letting down your hair? Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not sure what this is talking about. Takes up. Hmm. Affirmative or negative in a debate? That could be a side in a debate. Okay, this has PS at the beginning. Medium. Oh, this is a very ambiguous clue. This could mean so many different things. But because we have this PS here, I think it's going to be a psychic. Yeah. Big name in ice cream? That could be Edie. That's a brand name. RE doesn't help too much here. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need more crossing help. I wonder if we can get this little section down here. One Wicked Witch's Home in The Wizard of Oz. Well, there was the Wicked Witch of the East and the West, right? So I guess it has to be East here. Come as you blank? That could be come as you are. Singer Cook. I think there was a Sam Cook, wasn't there? That name sounds vaguely familiar. The last OG channel. Ooh, I don't know. Is it TBS? Oh, is this going to be about altering a piece of clothing? Yeah, I think it's going to be rehems. Man, that was so tricky. Okay, I think this probably is TBS here. And then this is looking like it might be Clue Checkers, right? 
Yeah, the editors of a crossword would definitely be clue checkers. Very nice. This was a fun theme. Yeah, we got a bunch of board games smashed together today. Okay, let's finish these corners down here. Hawaii's blank coast. I've never been to Hawaii. I'm not sure what this should be. They may be locked or blown. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. There's been a few of these types of clues today. Drawing similarities between two different phrases. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some more help on that one. Country with the highest percentage of vegetarians. I would not be surprised if this was India. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. One of the Affleck brothers. Well, it's not Ben. I guess it could be Casey. So I wonder if this is going to be Kona. I have heard of Kona coffee. That's coffee from Hawaii, so that would make a lot of sense to me. Passionate learners to some. <laughs> is that going to be nerds? <laughs> Is there some shade being thrown here, crossing nerds and clue checkers? <laughs> okay, formerly named. That could be nay. That's French for born. That's a word you can put in front of your maiden name. Okay, Bert's buddy on Sesame Street. That is Ernie. And college application part. That's going to be your essay. Yeah, you could attach that to your ACT scores. Okay, so what did this across end up being? You can lock horns or blow horns. Ooh, yeah, that's great. That's a very tricky one. All right, let's get this last corner here. Dagger's partner. I think that's going to be Cloak and Dagger. I think there was some Marvel characters named Cloak and Dagger, weren't there? Hooded Snake. Okay, that should be a Cobra. And this is going to be Reuben ingredient. Well... Um, I know a Reuben is a sandwich. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it has on it. Let's look at some of these downs here. IV amounts. That could be CCs, right? Cubic centimeters. Make oneself heard in a herd. This is kind of cheeky. I think this is going to be low. That's another sound for the mooing sound that cows make. Yeah. Okay, and then what is this? Kimono sash, that's going to be an OB. Yeah, that is a sash that you wear around the waist of a kimono. All right, let's throw that eye in there and see if that does it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 26 minutes. That's maybe a little on the slow side, but I didn't feel like this puzzle was particularly difficult. It felt very well calibrated for a Tuesday puzzle. Yeah, I'm really glad we picked up on the theme so early. I think we got it right after we got this first theme answer filled in, War Operation. This was the only card game of the bunch. The rest of these are kind of board games. Operation, Sorry Othello, Monopoly Risk, and Clue Checkers. I just learned today that Clue outside of North America is actually called Cluedo. Yeah, or Cluedo, I'm not actually sure how it's pronounced, but yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. But as this is an American crossword, we get clue checkers. We actually got a couple of really nice examples of wordplay clues on today's puzzle, in addition to the wordplay clues in the theme. This M's answer is a perfect example of talking about a word in the clue literally instead of talking about the meaning of the word itself. Yeah. And then I'm also really glad we got to see this clue for ivory. Highbrow tower material. Yeah, that's a good one. It seemed like there was a lot of fun fill based on the letter K today. I liked kleptos a lot. There was yucky, spank, polka. Yeah, I think we had kind of a fun K-based mini theme running alongside the main theme. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed uncovering all these two-player games with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.